Scotty Silver for IFL TV in association with uh, MTK Global. I'm here at uh, Adam Bailey's gym, aka known as the Ingle Gym now, for Aventura. Uh, how's it going, guys? Um, better and better every week. Massive training camp here. First time I've had one this big. Um, I think the only one that was as big as this was the Glocking one. Yeah. So this really sort of surpasses that one, to be honest. Well, I've got to mention the guy sitting on your right, Mr. Mr. Cole Fletcher. Uh, some some people might actually know Cole Fletcher. I mean, Cole, give us a little bit about your your background before you come over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been in the industry a number of years and competed in a few different sports. Uh, rugby league, athletic, strongman, powerlifting, so ping pong. international levels, <laughs> ping pong. Yeah. Um, so a bit of a bit of a varied background. Obviously, coming into this environment goes hand in hand with the strength and conditioning and working with the general gym goers, also the boxers that we continue to get over in the site. It just seems to be everyone at the moment. Yeah, it's been good, isn't it? Yeah. I think you take the pressure off me anyway. Teamed up with, with Adam here, there's been various pictures just this week giving massages to everyone from Terry Flanagan to Kid Galahad. And the gym, Adam, it just seems to be going from strength to strength, isn't it? Well, to, to be honest, I think since Carl's come on, um, it has gotten better because simply because I was doing a 14 hour day, running around like a blue ass fly, getting nowhere. So nothing was getting finished. So Carl's, Carl sort of took over the floor. I've more concentrated on, on doing the boxing side of it. He does the strength and conditioning. I just do the technical work that with our clients that come in. And it, it's, it's worked out really well. And as you say, Carl knows what he's doing. Mm. You know, you get plenty of people in this game who say, they can do it, and he's the Ronsil man. He does exactly what it says on the tin. So, well, at the moment we've got uh, we've got Eddie Hearn fighters here, we've got Frank Warren fighters here, we've got Jason Quigley, who's a uh, part of Golden Boy. Yeah. Uh, do you find you both sort of have to be almost like in a daddy role sometimes with all the guys, or does it all sort of sort no, of go I think, on, to on be right? Fair, most of them have been on, on, on training camps for the last six or seven years, so it's gone past that stage where everybody. Uh, is looking up to us like like parents. The younger ones, yeah, they, they they're always like, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? But the the, the senior members of the camp, no, no, not at all. And how about the trainers as well? We've got like Terry's trainer here. We've got Dominic Ingle here. Yeah, we, we've never never even the fact that we don't mind the trainers coming. You know, if they want their help or advice, we give it. If they don't, we leave everybody alone. Mm. Cal back over here as well. Yeah. He's got a massive fight. In, in four weeks time he's been coming out of the gym for the last uh, few years talking to him earlier he seems I don't know he seems on, yeah he seems more switched on doesn't seem drained um, quite sort of approachable uh, would you agree with that yeah I mean to be honest after the last fight I actually didn't know whether he fight again and that was the truth uh, I questioned him about it he didn't seem to be too switched on but as I say this camp now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go 360 degrees on that, I'll tell you, yeah, he's back where he should be, he's got that glint in his eye, Dominic will tell you that. I think the trip to Canada with Billy has, has, has given him that extra incentive to, to carry it through. Mm. We're just going to say goodbye to these who are another lot just going. Uh, and Cole, I mean, you've been now here six, seven months? Uh, I mean, how are you finding it? I mean, well, massive I career change for you. I've been coming here four or five years. Four, five years. So yeah. it's not like a six month yeah. thing, no. Yeah, I've been coming four or five years. Um, so, right, Mr. Rod Jr. Is slipping moved. in there. See it. Hello, man. Hello, Mr. Rod Jr. Yes, yes. Had a great camp out here with Sam Gilly, getting ready for his fight. And now we're all going home. So we're all going home. That uh, is Sam, ladies and gentlemen. Sam, a uh, quick word from you, Sam. Fight coming up. How have you been finding training here in Fort Ventura? Mate, this is a different level. Training, rubbing shoulders with all the world champions, future world champions. Can only benefit me as a fighter, can't it? Going to come back over again? Oh, 100%, 100%. Prediction for next fight? Just a win, mate. Just a winning style. Just the winning style. Sam, yeah. thanks for giving us your time. Safe journey, safe journey. Uh, so, yeah, so, so Cole. Uh, yeah, I've been coming oh, to Ireland four and a half, five years. We moved out full time six, seven months ago to bring up our little baby girl. Um, slotted into the environment quite well. This is the third move for Adam to a much bigger site. And with the bigger site, it brings greater overhead. So, you have to really look into the business side of things. and how you're going to get that foot flow through the door. And there's only so many professional boxers who are going to come out and do one when they're training. So we've had to concentrate on you know, the general population of the town, getting them to come in. Adam's always done an open gym, which is fantastic to see when you've got professional boxers at world level training environment with 
you know, general public who are just coming in to keep fit, it's good for them, it's good grounding for the boxers, you know, to know that, yeah, they're the elite level athletes, but, you know, the normal people just chasing yeah. their journey in the fitness industry. So it's good, the site creates a lot of energy um, and, and it's nice to be around. And obviously, when the weather's nice, which it hasn't been for the last two weeks, you just feel automatically right. better, yeah. Well, you feel drained now, it's been pissing it down for two weeks. But, but you know, and the funny thing is, it's right, we're not the only training in Kempton in the Canary Islands, as you know, there's one in Tenerife, there's one in Grand Canary, one in Lanzarote, where you're from, and John O'Brien's gym there. But the great thing is, we all suffer the same weather, so it's not like next time no. we're going to go there, yeah. we're all the same. So I think one of the biggest attributes that the place can offer is the weather. Yeah. Unfortunately, these two weeks have been absolutely interesting. We're talking to the guys this morning. I mean, they've obviously been training hard because they were all all tired this morning. I think those. I'm not even sure if they wanted to do interviews to, to be honest, but fair play, they they all did. Uh, you're seeing them day in, day out. I mean, they're a couple of weeks into camp. Kel's only four weeks away from his fight. Terry and Billy Joe have got their fights in April. Um, hand on heart, everyone says always good training camp, but generally things things thing. going well. No, tra- this has been a good training camp. Actually, probably one of the best ones I've done. Um, but it's, it's all about the attitude of the boxers. You, it doesn't matter what you see in training; it's how they are. Yeah. And, and if their attitude's right, it's normally going well. If everybody's miserable, everyone's fighting each other, everybody's like. Niggly, then then it's not great. But sometimes it is like that, as you know, when everybody's living together. This is only a two weeker. We've had five, six weekers at the time, but they've all gone well. But this one in particular, I've liked. I think the fact that all the boxers have got fights coming up makes a huge difference because they're all totally focused. Not one of them's out here on a sort of jolly holiday. So I think everybody's coming in with focus. Big event coming up. Um, a lot of the guys, it's a big, big year for them. I mean, Adam will tell you more because he knows more about it. But you know, this is this year's significant for a lot of the, a lot of the guys in camp. Mm. Um, so just for them all to be on the same page and it being such a big year for them has made a massive difference. They haven't got time to come and take it easy and relax. And I think more for Kel as well. This this yeah. is this is a big camp. Mm. When you think what's going on, he's moved up. Um, the Amir Khan thing now, it gives it more emphasis. I, I'm excited to see what happens. I, I, I really hope the fight can be made. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of guessing they have to go two fights each, and then the penultimate will be the, the one where it's his final. I think it's a three fight deal. I think they've got three fights deals. Yeah. yeah. Kel, I think in, in, in Amir, Amir Khan, yeah. If Amir's done a three fight deal, it would be great if that last fight could be made. Yeah, as, as you said, I mean, they've all got big fights coming up. I mean, Kel knows that if he loses, that's probably going to be the end for him. Both of them, really, isn't it? I mean, Kel, if he loses, then I think he's gone. Yeah. Uh, Billy Joe Song, tough fight against Martin Murray. Yeah. Terry stepping up to become a two-weight champion yeah. against Morris yeah. Zucker. And even if you look down, people like Atif Shafiq, it, it surely he's now got to sort of probably step up to the plate now and, and put on a show against uh, Lee Appleyard. I, th- I think with all of them, it, it, it's, it's, it's a big step for every single one of them now. I mean, I, I've seen it in the beginning at the end, in the early days, and everyone was just flying. And now, Kel's coming to twilight of his career, Atif's having to step up now. So th- they've really put, put their foot on the gas now. Mm. Uh, before we say our goodbyes, I mean, have you got plans for the future? More training camps booked over the, over the summer? Um, we've had a lot of interest. I mean, what? You know more about that. Yeah, well. <laughs> You see, He's the media man. <laughs> the thing is, the site's so large, and I mean, it showed it when we had the British Olympic squad over. We could sustain big numbers at one time. So, for us, for Adam, for you know, for the business and to progress it forward, we want to be bringing over as many squads as possible. Yeah. Obviously. Ingles will always get priority because that's who we're affiliated with and that's that's our family so they will always take priority but the door isn't closed to anybody, the door is open um, and that's open to amateur level um, and, and basically just general fitness scholars and, and health retreats, whoever want to come over and work with us and use the facilities we can put a package together for them, we've got accommodation facilities, you know we can look after Madam knows everybody in the town, he's been here so long, uh, he's more Canarian than he is 
older than now, you know what I mean? So well, he's about five million years old, isn't he? He's yeah. about five million years old. I've lost yeah. <laughs> So I'm getting a Yorkshire accent. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we, I think. That from a business point of view, that's where we're pushing forward on trying to get everybody over in on site, show them what we're about, what we're capable of doing, looking after people, um, and then getting repeat business. Yeah. Well, Cole Fletcher. Adam Bailey, it's great to see the gym just going from uh, strength to strength and look forward to coming over again soon and onwards and upwards. Yeah. <laughs>